What's it been like for you to work from home? Wow. Um, I had no idea how much you had to think about. You're in charge of everything. When you're in the studio, you come in, you have your iPad and the laptop and there's people around to help you with things. But when you're at home, you're responsible for all of the technical things yourself. You're responsible for um, staying online. We have an application that we use that allows us to work from home. Mm -hmm. You're responsible for your lighting, for your audio. I've been having some audio problems. But these are things that you usually call the engineering department for. You call the IT department. You get a production assistant to help you. But when you're at home, you're, you're it. I've been in three different locations in the house. Okay. <laughs> what I'm trying to do is get the audio and the Wi-Fi signal together. So places where the audio is better, the Wi-Fi signal might be weaker. And where the Wi-Fi signal is stronger, the room is bigger. So there's a, an echo. So it's been challenging finding that perfect sweet spot in the house to actually do it. I'm dressed up from the waist up. Yeah. Um, normally I'll have a dress on, but I normally, I don't put dresses on when I'm at home. Anybody who knows me knows that I have like 20 pairs of shoes under my desk at work. Um, but when I'm walking around the studio and walking around the newsroom, I never have my heels on. I put those on when I go into the studio. Um, and the same thing here at home. I'm usually wearing some sort of comfortable shoe or like a slipper or, you know, some Ugg boots and either some, dare I say, pajama bottoms <laughs> or some jeans on or, or something pretty comfortable. Have you had any issues yet with your hair, not being able to see a hairdresser? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going a little gray. I probably should have gotten my hair colored when I saw this coming. The routine is definitely different. One thing that I've been able to do is get a little bit more sleep because when school was in session, um, I had to have my kindergartner at school for eight o'clock in the morning. And that's always been a struggle for me as um, a night side anchor, um, getting home after midnight and then having to get up so early in the morning was always hard, but I can sleep a little bit longer. So that's the biggest change to my routine right now. And we went from having maybe four or five places to be to having nothing, you know, no commitments. And I like it. <laughs> it really makes me rethink what I was doing prior to the pandemic and what I want to go back to and what I may need to scale back on a little bit. So just sort of think about, you know, what we're going to do now and how we're going to make the best of it and what we can do to stay safe. And, and that's pretty much what we're doing, yeah. you know, and I think that's what a lot of families are doing right now. Just, you know, trying to make the best of an unprecedented time because no one, you know, could ever imagine being, you know, locked up in the house for this long with social distancing, but um, we're getting through it. We're getting through it.